Hey flagship family, this is John Reynolds, your buddy, your pal, and I'm here to interrupt your day for just a moment um, for a very important commercial um, announcement. Uh, yesterday I was teaching a social networking class here in the Market Center. We were talking about um, how to integrate social networking into your e-agency website. And one of the things that I realized is that many of you either are not aware that you have a fully customizable uh, website um, or you don't either have the time to customize and enhance it or you don't know how. So I wanted to spend just a couple of minutes with you and show you some of the things that you can do to your e-agency website. As Keller Williams agents, one of the coolest tools that we have at our disposal is our e-agency website. It's a way for us to um, brand ourselves and to bring the public, the consumer, into our business. Unfortunately, most of the Keller Williams agents' websites look like this. And this is fine, it's not a bad website, but as you'll see, as you can see, it's, it's very basic and there's nothing interactive about it at all. The worst thing, the most detrimental thing about this website is that this language here is on every e-agency website. So because of that, it's going to be virtually impossible for someone to find you in, in a search result because you are going to be lost among 60 or 70,000 other agents who've done nothing with their Keller Williams e-agency website. What I would recommend is that you take your e-agency website from this and turn it into something that looks a bit like this. This is an e-agency website that has been customized. Or this. Or this. Or this. The first thing you would probably want to do, or that I would recommend you do, is create a custom banner. Now Keller Williams provides us with 70-some different website templates, and they're all fine. There's nothing wrong with them at all, but I'm a big believer in promoting an individual brand and setting ourselves apart um, from the herd, so I would recommend the customized banner. It's the quickest and easiest way to do that right away. So as you see, the one I've done for my website um, shows Baltimore City, which is you know my area of expertise and where a lot of my business comes from. We just finished one for Julie Dinko, and she wanted um, it to look like Anne Arundel County because that's her focus. So we've got the boating and some of the older homes and the sailboats and the bridge, etc. And I, I think that turned out turned out really well. So you have the ability to do that on your e-agency website. The other thing I would recommend is that um, when you're designing and laying out your website that, you, you, that you're mindful of the design and the layout. You want it to be pleasing to the eye, you want it to be well balanced. I've seen some really good websites and I've seen some some really bad websites and one of the things that you want to do is, is make sure that there's movement or the appearance of movement on the page. So one of the things I did, and you'll see here, is I have a bunch of rotating pictures of Maryland that don't do anything other than move. They kind of keep the eye engaged, um, and they're just showing different scenes in Maryland. Now, I could connect a URL to any of these pictures, and it could take them to any other web page or website. Um, for my purposes now, I just want it to look pretty and to have some kind of animation feature on the website. Um, again, this is all stuff that, that your e-agency website allows you to do. As you all know, I'm a big believer in, in social networking. It's um, been a great boon to my business and it has really helped my, my productivity. And the e-agency website, as we discussed in the class yesterday, is a great place for you to amplify your social networking. Um, so as you see what we've done here and what your e-agency page allows you to do is integrate all of your social networking platforms. So right here in the upper right hand corner 
um, I have a like us and share box and what this allows the consumer to do is to visit my website and to like or recommend me to someone else and that's all well and good but what's even better about it is the moment they hit that like button it automatically updates their Facebook wall and it says that Joe Blow just liked John Reynolds real estate website so everyone in their audience all of their friends see that um, the other thing we've done is we've included a button here so that if anyone is on the website and they see something that they like or that they want to share they can add it to any of the social networks that they may belong to and there are tons of them um, as you'll ah, as you don't see but believe me there are there are tons. oh here we go hit more and it just brings up hundreds of them okay so they can share your website on any social networking platform that they care to um, they can even email it they can even bookmark it into their favorites so that it's always there for them the other thing that we've done regarding social networking is we have we are hosting our fan page our team business page right here on the website so people again they can like this it's going to show a limited number of the faces of the people who like it and so whenever we post a listing or a flyer or some kind of e-commercial or whenever we do a, um, an entry update an entry in our blog it's going to show right here the other cool feature and I just want to take this one step further is if they click on this it will take them to our Facebook page and they can actually search for homes right right from here so we will just uh, click search and there they go and where they're going is they're going to my e edge search um, so we're kind of leveraging the power of e edge um, through the e agency website which is kind of neat the other thing we can do is we can create custom pages or you can create custom pages I, I created this little discover Maryland page um, which takes them to a, it's a very simple page it shows all of the counties they click on one of the counties and it takes them to that website that state website framed within my website okay so it's sticky so I'm not losing them they're still on my website but they are actually visiting the the, the official site of the Maryland Office of Tourism so that's kind of cool I uh, conducted a poll before the last revamping of my website asking people what the number one feature they thought was important on a real estate website and it was the ability to search for open houses now unfortunately e-agency and um, our e-edge suite of tools don't provide us with that capability wolfnet does provide it at an extra fee um, I don't feel like paying that fee maybe someday I will but I found a workaround in the meantime so on this toolbar this custom toolbar that we created they, the consumer would click on open house it would take them to an open house widget they type in the zip code of where they want to look for open houses this coming weekend and bang it takes them to a homefinder.com site which lists the eight properties in 21043 that are so far scheduled to be open this weekend okay we've also added a testimonials page um, social networking is peer-to-peer -peer recommendations so make sure that you've got a very extensive list of, of good testimonials okay The other thing I wanted to show you, and probably the last thing for today, is as you know, and as I've mentioned, we do have the whole eEdge suite of tools at our disposal. Um, so I thought it might be a good idea to leverage the power of that also in my eAgency website. So we have the, the consumer has a number of ways they can search. They can search here in this search widget, they can search here, they can look at my featured properties. 
There's the ability to search here, they can search here, etc., etc. When they search here, this is going to default to the WolfNet solution that we all have by default in our eAgency website. Okay, so let me show you how what that does. All right, you guys have seen something that's similar to that on your own websites, I'm sure. What I have done here, search listings, this is taking them to my eEdge site. Okay. So they're just going to get another another search experience here. The research that I did also indicated to me that information about schools was very important. So in this custom toolbar that we made, the consumer clicks on schools. And again, it's taking them to the market insider piece um, in our eEdge suite of tools. And this market insider, uh, I'll qualify this, um, is available only to those who are using the eEdge Pro. Um, there is a workaround um, we, where we could link um, school information to a really good website called Great Schools and it provides the same information. In fact, this information on eEdge comes from that Great Schools website. And they just put in the zip code that they're interested in, um, hit the search button, and it will show them the various schools in the area, their score, where they're located, etc. And finally, we're almost finally, there was one other piece I wanted to show you. Oh, right here. An invitation for the um, the clients to establish their own account. So the minute they log in, you're capturing their, their um, contact information. Um, and then another button where they can register to become a Market Insider. So they click this. Again, it's going to take them to the Market Insider tool. They put in the zip code that they're interested in. And it's going to allow them to search maybe twice. And then it's going to ask them to register. And honestly, the information in here is so good. Um, chances are they're going to register. So it's just one more way that your e-agency site can become a lead generating tool for you. Um, now for the sales piece. There are people and companies that will charge you thousands of dollars um, to do this, to take your website from something that is kind of mundane to something that's a little bit more interactive. Um, I can do this stuff for you also and I'd be happy to. Um, I've got a, a menu of various services that I provide and I think you'll be pleased with the, the costs associated with them. Um, I've begun doing work for other agents and other Keller Williams offices and I'm intentionally charging them more because I love you guys and I want you guys to, uh, to get the, the greatest benefit possible. So look, if you're interested in talking to me about this, um, just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We'll have a little consultation about what you want your website to look like and what you want it to do. And we'll talk about how I can help you. Um, that's it. I appreciate your time. And I look forward to seeing all of you around the office. Make it a great day. Adios.